Okay, so I have, um, I'll try to, to go quick so that we still have a break. Uh, so I'll uh, talk about uh, the new stuff we did in the in the free frame documentation uh, in order to filter and search uh, through the examples, all the examples of the of the distribution. So as you can see here, if you apply and card you to if you want to to do it as I as I do it, so you can uh, already experiment with it and play with it uh, as I present it. And if you have feedback, questions, and remarks or comments, uh, you are welcome to to tell us now or today or tomorrow or, or even after that. So if you go to the documentation uh, site of Google, you see this uh, little red uh, rectangle here that says that you can now search in uh, examples. So if you click the checkbox. You toggle between searching into the documentation and searching into the, the all the examples. And uh, basically, I okay for now you can also press control to switch between the, between the two. So here I, I gave some uh, some pointers on uh, what's happening uh, in this page. So basically, you can use this search bar to as you search in the documentation. You can also uh, search in the examples when you are in this mode. And uh, on the right, you, are, you have all the examples of the. So here are all the examples of the of the Python distribution, and the list as you as you uh, as you do uh, your queries, the list on the right will be filtered out to only uh, keep what uh, what you hit on uh, with your search query. And then clicking on uh, the the search results, or on the right, you will see that uh, we the, the site will bring up. From GitHub, the actual uh, example from the distribution, and you can uh, you can play, you can uh, see see the code, copy and paste some uh, some things on the script and so on. And on the left, we have uh, okay. So this is working for us. The idea is to also be able to categorize the all the examples to first uh, give you a broad give a broad idea of a new user of uh, all thing all the things FreeFM can do and so on. <laughs> And uh, also ease the search uh, when you try to search for specific equations and so on. So this is very early just to show you that the technique works. And you see there are very few categories. I, I did it uh, very quickly. But uh, as you can imagine, the real work will take uh, time because uh, we'll then need to go through all the examples and categorize, label them, and so on. So it will take time. But the idea is that uh, you can then uh, you can then uh, search, I mean, categorize it. So you can see that uh, on the right, I only have now the example that, that solves the stock problem and so on. And so basically, then you can search. So for example, you can search for a keyword, so in mesh, for example. And you see that, uh, OK, these are all the examples that uh, that you hit with the, this, uh, this search uh, query. and. Uh, for now, we only have one hit per. We only show one hit per example, even though the keyword might be present uh, multiple times because uh, because of the room problem, right? But uh, I mean, if you think uh, we can, we need to do differently, we can. And so you are, uh, you also have a fuzzy search, like in the documentation. So for example, if I, if I search Navier Stokes, right? You see, I put a space here, but you you eat all the things that more or less resemble your query. So now you're stuck with a dash and so on. So, and you see on the right, basically, then I will have all the examples that solve the Navier Stokes equation, hopefully. And obviously, I can click here and bring up the example from the GitHub. So uh, you can see that. And uh, OK, maybe if I just mesh again. So you see that if the exact, if you have an exact match on your script, it will be automatically highlighted in the in the script, and uh, yeah, I can go through all the examples uh, that contain the image basically. And obviously here you can uh, copy and paste and so on, and you can even modify the script. But for now it doesn't uh, doesn't really mean anything. And uh, okay, basically I guess that's it for the for this. So hopefully uh, you find it useful. And uh, once again, if you have feedback and uh, or comments, uh, you're welcome to share. Um, what can I tell you? OK, so one idea that we think going forward is that we 
in order to categorize the example, we probably comment each example with a list of tags with, for example, a commented line like this. And uh, okay, say Australia stocks, more stocks, really. And uh, yeah, I guess the work will be to do that. So that way we can automatically parse the examples to categorize them. And obviously when we add the, the new example, we need to add the corresponding tags also. And uh, we also uh, are thinking about uh, for the more evolved examples, involved examples, uh, we probably try to provide a companion a markdown file in the same repository that uh, where you can actually put some latex uh, and put some equations on how to solve the problem and more involved comments that just a few comments led line on script. And on this website, we will be able to side by side show the example and the markdown file uh, that describes what's happening inside the example. So that's an idea we, yeah. I suggest, yes. because most people have computer, that they try online while you talk. Yeah, yeah, that, I, I told the, I told the, I told you the, just go to the and yeah. then go to documentation. Exactly. So if you do if you go to the online documentation now, uh, feel free to play with it, search your favorite keyword and see if it works. See what doesn't work. So please report bugs. It's brand new. So if you find bugs on the on the website, please uh, please share. And uh, hopefully it's a functionality that that could be useful in the, for you. Um, you want to have the Wi-Fi? The <coughs> yes. you put already the the password will be in the equation. <coughs> Uh, okay, and so for now, let me just okay uh, show you a little bit about the uh, documentation of the for the composite uh, file, uh, the composite spaces that uh, Frederick already talked about a little bit before. Uh, okay, so this is here. Composite file. Oh, at the, uh, unless you have questions about the website and so on, please, please feel free at any time to to share uh, even now. It's fine. For, yep. the, for the 2D example, are there any plans to <coughs> to merge what's done already to be able to run the script on the browser inside the documentation? Or... Uh, we are thinking about it, uh, but I've seen that now it can. I mean, I don't know if we do it. I mean, I, I guess the the main goal is to be able to run all the examples in the browser. Mm -hmm. And apparently now there are some new techniques that can run C++ in browser uh, because JavaScript is, uh, as you uh, as you know, uh, very slow. And no, so, it's not very slow, but the, 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 it's quite hard to make a JavaScript version. Yeah, and then you have problems with uh, dynamically loaded plugins and so on. Yeah. That you need to compile them. yeah, but I think with C++ you have the same thing because- Yeah, the, we'll have the same problems. The dynamic. Dynamic loading will be not on the yes. rise in the browser. Again, the goal is to see if we can improve on uh, what's already done uh, for two D examples in, uh, in JavaScript. And if we can't, we probably will fall back to to what's already done in the in the main uh, website. And yeah, we'll be able to run it uh, here. But uh, we'll see. Okay. Uh, okay, so let me just switch to the composite file element spaces uh, documentation that you can find here. So it's a main category in the in the FreeFM document, online documentation. And so as Frederick, Frederick said, so the main uses uh, are that you can now define variables uh, that live on different spaces and uh, mesh space, different meshes and even different mesh types. So the first uh, use can be uh, that you can uh, define periodic boundary conditions for only one component of your space. But then you can also define general, more general coupled problems. So if you have, for example, two subdomains uh, yeah. that touch through an interface and you need to solve two different PDs, one in each domain, you can uh, do that. You define uh, one variable uh, in, in each domain and couple, uh, couple them like this. You can also do surface and uh, volume coupling. And uh, in particular, you can do FEMBEM coupling. Uh, so you can do a lot, lot more things more easily than what you 
what uh, what we had before was basically we needed to to assemble each block separately. Uh, okay, so Frederic talked about this. Uh, so the idea of finite amount spaces basically it's just it's just a wrapper, right? It's just uh, a new finite element space that basically points to the different components of uh, of your space, and you can declare it uh, uh, two ways. So for example, here. Uh, I can define my, I guess it is for stocks. I can define my uh, first two components on the UH1 and my second component on PH, where, as uh, Frederic uh, showed, TH uh, can be a different match than this TH here. And uh, basically, as Frederic showed, we use angle brackets to declare uh, composite spaces, but there is also the I guess Cartesian product notation with a star that you can use to define the finite element space. Um, okay. And uh, so, so in the documentation, it, uh, we talk about the same uh, the same example that Frederick showed with the P2 ISO P1 P1 uh, elements for stocks. Um, okay. And uh, as Frederick showed, when you use solved or problem. You actually don't even need to define the finite elements, the composite finite element space. You can directly say, okay, it is a composite problem because I put brackets, angle brackets in the uh, surrounding the unknowns and the test functions in the solve our problem instruction. Uh, and everything is taken care of for you. So at the end of the solve instruction, you will have your velocities, the solution. Uh, in the U1 and U2, and your pressure solution in P. And you can plot the variables and so on. And so, uh, for the question about uh, uh, what's happening with VARF and, uh, and matrix and so on, um, uh, for VARF and matrix, you, you actually need to explicitly um, write and uh, define your composite finite element space beforehand. Uh, because we will use it when we uh, instantiate your variational formulation and build the matrix here. So here I need to put my composite finite element space that I need to define before. And same for the right hand side. So you can assemble the, the composite matrix on the composite right hand side like this. Uh, and with this syntax, you don't need to put the angle brackets here because obviously it's the same way uh, we already have the information. You are well, you are trying to solve a complete problem here. So if I remove this angle bracket, it still works the same. And yeah, um, but so the the little cache here is that for the right hand side and the solution, you see that I I declare my solution as the whole vector that will have uh, contiguously the solution. For example, here for the velocity and pressure, and then I can recover my two solutions by dispatching my my uh, complete uh, solution vector here to my finite element solutions that I then can post process or plot and so on. And so basically I can directly here write uh, my uh, the array of degrees of freedom for my velocity solution one and concatenated with the P uh, pressure solution. And I will have my solution in, in U1, U2, and U3. Uh, okay, and uh, as Frederick said, so for this particular stocks problem, the linear system behind the plane that, uh, that is constructed is exactly like this. So we have first the two uh, interleaved um, velocity unknowns and then the pressure unknowns. But then obviously if you use direct solver, I mean, anyway, it, there will be a permutation uh, made by the direct solver and so on, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, what the initial uh, numbering is. Uh, okay, and uh, uh, unfortunately, we uh, we have not yet uh, implemented all the stuff needed to be able to use composite uh, directly composite uh, rational forms uh, with uh, within the Petty framework, the fully distributed framework. But uh, uh, we'll we'll obviously uh, try to do that uh, as soon as possible. But, uh, but for now, you can still assemble and solve the linear system in parallel 
Okay, I don't have time to, 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 to show it now, but uh, it is described in the documentation that you can still use PETC or uh, parallel maps to assemble and solve the linear system in parallel. But the whole script still stays in the global numbering. So if you want to do fully distributed parallel framework, as Pierre will talk about uh, after the break, uh, you still need to wait a little bit for us to, to, uh, to implement it. OK, so I guess uh, that's it. And, uh, yeah. questions. And just a remark, if I, if I uh, switch back to my, uh, my, um... this one. Yes, I, uh, Pascal was a of the SOX program question. Is, uh, it's possibility we, we can use block CSR. Block, block for the components. But yeah. now you can use the features fields with Papa CMSB. Uh, something very funny for field speaking, but it's possible to some somewhat uh, exchange data between two sides. You, uh, now you explain about how to write of the variation of formation mm -hmm. data is speaking. Mm -hmm. It's uh, you want to go back to the in some sense. Uh, sometimes I need to I need to back to the uh, depend on the machines. For example, the block block CSR seems to be faster. It can use uh, something of the. Uh, of this will be the memory or the. If it could be, I, I can mix both. It's much happier. This will be done by the server. So. Uh, no, 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 it's by because because based on the machine information. So. Yeah, but whenever you remember such a block defined matrix. Mm -hmm. the optimal ordering will look like a block. I mean, it will remember in. In a block like in a in a block CSR like structure. So, Here is separate. Yes, kind of but then when you call mems or uh, uh, whatever, I mean, the the mems will try to find that. So that yeah. is, we uh, we cannot give the something the geometrical information to the server. Yeah. See that one is uh, each consists of the yes. Yes. Uh, maybe maybe we can see so you want to 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 give the the blocking pattern yourself? Exactly. But, but the idea is, is a periodic pattern function for different components. Yes. Well. So, so you can already do it in vanilla PC, I guess. What what is? Yeah. The, yeah. No, there is some missing plumbing in the composite yes. the space, but uh, but I guess in the end we should be able to do what you want, hopefully. <laughs> but we need first need to finish the implementation. Yeah. Yes. Uh, is the, the fact that you can do the assembly and solve parallel with that CC linked to the composite, or can you use that with the? With okay. The, with the, so yeah, we took this opportunity to to experiment, and so for now, you only need you can only do it with composite finite element spaces, but you can declare a composite space with one component. <laughs> so if you if you, you can wrap your scalar problem into the composite framework, then you can use a parallel assembly and solution with MEMS uh, or PETC as described in the documentation. But you just need to declare uh, as as, we, as, uh, as I should. But it works for any problem. Yes. Oui? Yes. Any Alors, non, 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 rectangle, in free frame, only segment, triangle, and tête. You can try to speak with rectangle and X. I say no. Or you can put the main in the company. No, I, I think the question is uh, <laughs> no, the, matri the, the end matrix is rectangular. Right? Qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Les éléments rectangulaires. C'est quoi, ah, okay, so, quoi des éléments finis rectangulaires Tu vois, c'est des rectangles. C'est des éléments rectangulaires. Ouais, okay. Okay. Ouais, okay. Ouais, okay. Tu ne sais pas faire. Non, c'est pas qu'on ne sait pas faire. Non, c'est pas qu'on ne sait pas faire. Non, mais je... La raison pour laquelle je ne mets pas quads et x dans le PPM, c'est parce que... I don't want to spend too much time to prime finite element. 
it's become quite complex to, to mix triangle and uh, if you mix in the tetrahedron and hexahedron, you get pyramidals, uh, trees also to complete the mesh and the mesh are crazy. So this is why I don't, uh, I spend years and years to build meshes. I want to make simple things. And you see, it's quite complex, God, free time. Even with only triangle and uh, and egg and uh, death. No more questions? So thanks again. Uh, I would like to make a question here. Sorry, yes. The answer, uh, votre question. Uh, yes, do you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so first of all, thank you very much for organizing this, this session for all of us and to have the possibility to, to connect via the internet. So um, it's just a, a silly question. When you discuss the solution, you just write U1 and P. And what about P uh, U2? <laughs> <laughs> so the idea is that when you have a standard finite element uh, space, like, uh, where is this? Like, like vectorial uh, space like this, P1, P1, yes. when, you declare, when you declare your function, like this, u1, u2, you can you you can only manipulate the whole array of degrees of freedom, which are actually interleaved. Interleaved, the components are interleaved. You you, you cannot uh, directly separate it. And so when you manipulate u1 brackets or u or u2 brackets, it's actually the same uh, array of degrees of freedom, which is the whole space spanning the two components. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why when uh, when I write like this, I this is actually the array of degrees of freedom for U1 and U2. Okay, but uh, so uh, and U2 will be in that case affected directly. You don't have to 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 write and anything else. Exactly, it will be directly affected, and you actually have no choice if you uh, if you do it like this. You you have you cannot directly access only the first component of your vector space, even if you put U2. So, it will so be if, if you want to to make a, a chart or anything or a, a graphic uh, output, so, so you too will have the the, the correct value. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, okay. Thank you. Yeah. I know this is a crazy thing because I'm lazy and it's a long story because the correct notation will be bracket U1 comma U2 bracket and, uh, and uh, bracket bracket. It's like crochet, crochet. Tu peux, tu peux, tu peux très bien le faire. Tu, non, non. Tu rajoutes des trucs et puis ça ne sert à rien. Voilà. Par contre, c'est visible. Yes. Yeah. No, it's a, no, this is not possible. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it could be, but it's... No, for, for, <laughs> me, for me, I want to put U... Même uh, les double brackets, retire les deux double brackets, U1, U2. Ah, et like puis, it. ici, comme ça. It is more uh, yes. understandable. But mm -hmm. see, I don't do this notation. Okay. <laughs>